Good morning listeners this is your host Pathi Shah co-founder of Night Fintech and you are listening to Night Snippets here is all what you need to know before going into trade for 30th September 2020 the last trading day of the month and the quarter in the international market US treasury yields were seen trading in a tight range ahead of the presidential election debate today night and Friday's jobs data There are various scenarios emerging from the election which predict the US 10 year benchmark from 0.50 to as high as 1% in 3 months. But for now, market is waiting for the signal for whether there is a clear winner in the debate. US 10 year benchmark seen at 0.66 and 30 year at 1.41 percentage points, both down by 1 basis points each in yesterday's session. In the crude oil market for the week ending September 25th the American Petroleum Institute API reported a draw in crude oil inventories of 0.83 million barrels versus analyst expectation of 2.32 million barrels thus with far lower crude oil inventory draw crude fell and is now trading at 40.65 dollars per barrel as we have maintained our current stance is neutral and for a long term we clearly envision 50 dollars per barrel but will not take any long positions until covid-19 fear subsides in the currency market dollar index is at 93.85 traders are believing the recent dollar rally was it a dead cat bounce or market is cautious ahead of today's presidential election debate only time will answer this question range is 93.58 to 94.07 a breach above 94.07 will take it to 9434 dxy stands neutral for now waiting for the events to unfold this week in the us market usd cny or chinese yuan was seen trading at 681 levels indian rupee yesterday with a high of 73.92 closed at 7380 month end dollar demand from importers we are seen weighing on the rupee yesterday but given a correction in dollar we expect the rupee to come back to 7370 levels 7370 is a key support level rupee is seen today between 7360 to 7385 the exit ranges will be available once the market opens in the domestic market government bond prices rose slightly yesterday amid low trade volumes as market participants speculated that the reserve bank of india was participating in the secondary market to purchase dated securities Yesterday only one player was seen buying in the market rest everyone was selling and that was others category with a buying of rupees 3685 crore in the gsec segment it seems others have bought approx 30000 crore worth of dated securities in the secondary market in september 2020 alone so it is safe to assume rbi is intervening in the secondary market keeping the yields in check on the very positive side India is planning to sell up to 25% of stake in India's largest life insurer LIC. If we recall the budget had estimated to raise rupees 90000 crore by selling somewhere around 7 to 10% stake in the LIC. Now if government actually gets away by selling 25% of stake maybe in few tranches before March 2021 government may be able to raise rupees 2 to 2.5 lakh crore based on the valuations and at least rupees 1 lakh crore extra than the budgeted estimation by selling higher stake immediately which will reduce the additional borrowing requirement. the much awaited rupees 25437 crore worth of sdl auctions were held yesterday there was a clear lack of participation and the cutoff ranges were way higher than anyone's expectations 10 year sdl had a range of 683 to 690 making the sdl g sec spread at 80 basis points yesterday only we spoke about the spreads reaching to 90 basis points and in few cases it seemed so The 11-year Karnataka at 697 and 12-year Maharashtra at 710 were complete surprises and we at Night Research also did not anticipate so high spreads in these two counters. Later, RBI has had extended the relaxation in WML limits and OD regulations which may cool off the yields for a while. All eyes are now on borrowing calendar which may come today after market hours. as widely expected government may want to wait for one more quarter assessing the full impact of covid-19 on tax revenues and then deciding on additional borrowings may calm the market for now but it is certain that in this revenue crisis government will need to step up the spending significantly to boost the gdp and hence will have to borrow more golden advice as you have done so far for the last two weeks stay away from the market today do not build any fresh position